Hey guys, Zephonix here. And before I get into anything, check out the new nerdy shirt. What do you think? Some stuff. Hey, um, coochie stuff. If you're looking for some new Wil Wilbur outfits, this one's definitely the case right here. It's like just when you thought he couldn't get any nerdier. Behold, the super tight pinstripe shirt. <laughs> um, so I got a question from Reston. And Reston goes, hey, I know you're a PC gamer, so I decided to come with you for some suggest suggestions and all. Um, basically, um, in his letter, he's saying that he bought a 360 controller um, that he also has working for his PC. And he wants to know, um, he wants me to answer a couple of questions. And I have no problem doing that. Um, number one. Does the Xbox 360 controller work with all games that are on Steam? Yes. If the game is has the ability to use a controller, it will, uh, in one way or in one form or another. Now, 360 has two forms of um, of compatibility with them. They have what I call normal and 360 compatibility. Now, normal consists of just regular controller working, where 360 is about the same thing, but just adds all the functionality of an actual 360 controller, which includes the rumble, you know, or whatever it is that, um, you know, well, there's not too much with any controller, but yeah, the rumble, mm, that's about it. Um, but it also allows you, it says like, you know, A, B, X, Y, or whatever, where on normal compatibility, it would say like either, like most likely 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <sighs> So, um, question number two is, do most developers have games that work through Steam, or are they all separate? Um, both. Most of them actually do work with Steam, and the ones that work with Steam, you'll know, because, um, like, about three or four seconds into the game actually starting, you'll notice on your lower right-hand side, you'll get a message that says, um, hit this button, usually it's, like, either Alt-Tab, or for me, it's Home, that allow you to open up the Steam, um, controller or the Steam console. So that means it's compatible with the Steam with um, what Steam has to offer. However, some aren't. Like the blue Batman demo is not. And I haven't I don't have it on Steam, but I'm guessing the new Street Fighter game is not compatible either. So what it does they kind of, it just it downloads separate. You can still get them from Steam. It just doesn't have the Steam compatibility that it has, you know. Most likely because um, those particular things have its own um, their own connection with like uh, for example Street Fighter and Batman will have um, connection with um, Xbox, excuse me, um, with Live. So that's the reason why it's not con uh, compatible with Steam's connections. But yeah. Um, number three. Um, do you recommend me buying a PC game, excuse me, a gaming PC, if I really want to change over to a PC, to a PC gamer? That's up to you. Um, if you have the know-how, I would advise you to make your own. But obviously... You know, I'm sure sure if you know how to make a computer, then you know I don't need to tell you that because you know that you'll save a lot of money by making it yourself. However, if you can, if you don't really have, you know, the at the time the knowledge to really put a computer together, then yeah, I would recommend one. Um, I would recommend actually the one I have, which which is a Dell XPS. Um, it's it's pretty cheap for a um, it's mine was a little bit over a grand, and it's pretty cheap for um. My, you know, for a game PC, but it's definitely, definitely does go in there. You know, it definitely does work. Um, so, yeah, if you can't, yeah, if you can make your own, make your own. If you can't, then yeah, go ahead and um, get one. Um, number four, I found this link. Okay, give me a second. Let me bring up the link. Um, while it's going up, I'll read this. And I'm confused a little about the whole technical stuff. But if you do recommend me buying a PC, uh, excuse me, a gaming PC, which one of these would you recommend, if any at all? Okay, give me a second. I'm bringing up the picture right now. Um, the website is basically, uh, it's called um, PC Gaming Review. Uh, basically, it's a comparison, okay? And, okay, uh, interesting. Uh, my PC is actually the number one on the list, um, ironically enough. So, um, yeah, I do recommend that particular PC, the Dell XPS. Uh, mind you, I have an XPS, but it's not that in that particular one. But the XPS, in my opinion, um, pretty much does everything and anything you can ever want with a PC, a gaming PC. The only problem I have with it is, is that certain things just don't work. Um, like if you have to open up your PC and plug something into the USB port, yeah, you're gonna have problems because there is no USB. Um, there is. I'm sure me. If you're gonna plug it in you, and try to plug something up in the PCI so, um, port, you're gonna have problems because there is no PCI. Um, the whole damn thing is abundance in um, USB, though. So, basically, 
if you can buy a USB version of what you want, then yes. So that means that when I do actually get um my card again, you know, like when I start capturing video again, I'm gonna have to get one of those ones that connect to your USB. I mean, what can else can you do? Um, that being said, though, man, I'm looking at the one right here. Um, this one is uh, 1 1.5. This one is like a 1.6 thousand dollars, which all right, it's not bad. Um, mine's was cheaper. Um, what I advise you to do is, yeah, it's good, but I'm pretty sure there's some other places that you can go to that will actually be a lot cheaper. Um, let me try one thing, and you'll be actually surprised at certain places that you can actually go in order to get this. Now, mind you, that um, let me see here. Give me one sec. I'm going to check one particular site. Wow, I'm getting like Texas off the heat here today. Um, now, mind you, too, that even though with those PCs, we're not counting, um, they are not counting the fact that you got to get a monitor. So monitor does actually help out in your um when you're actually making um and when you're doing gaming PC yeah you might you also want to think on that but um uh, but yeah I do recommend the because the one I'm looking for is um, is quite a few in here so I was actually looking on um SamsClub.com because SamsClub actually yeah SamsClub actually has um the Dell Studio um, um FPS MT which is eh, it's a decent one um. It's not bad at all. I believe that's the one I have too. Um, let me see. Yep, that's the one I have. Uh, if you go and I'll post a link on the webpage too to show you guys exactly what my PC looks like, um, you'll be saving about mm, six hundred dollars with this particular one. Um, and then there's also um, another version which is about three hundred more where you can get a monitor, and the monitor is actually a decent monitor. So, yeah. Um, Anyway, those are my um, answers for your question. I posted all the links on the side. I hope it does answer. And if you have any more questions, feel free to post it right at the bottom. If I see it, I'll go ahead and answer it. You guys have a good night.